Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. I told y'all it's the summertime. It's all about smoking and grilling outside. I'm going to be doing so many videos, y'all going to get sick of it. Y'all going to say, I don't have no pit, no grill. Why are you doing video? I'm telling you, I'm going to encourage y'all to get a pit and a grill. What I've been using the last couple of times, I'm using today, I'm using my master built electric smoker. Uh, and wait till I start cooking on my Blackstone griddle. Y'all really going to be, I'm going to encourage y'all to go out there and just get in the elements and, and uh, get outside the elements and cook. But the reason I'm uh, pushing the Blackstone, um, the Master Bill Smoker, now some partners, now not all of them, but some apartments, I know everybody don't have a house with a big backyard like me, so some apartments allow electric smokers because it's not an open flame, it's electric. I know where Tyrone lives, he lives in an apartment and they allow it over his area. So that's why I'm kind of doing more electric smoke. Of course, I'm going to be doing my big wood burning grill pit too. But electric smokers, number one, they're easy to use. They don't use a lot of electricity. Number two, they don't use a lot of wood. You just use a foot wood chips. And it's so enclosed that you get that full, full effect of the flavor of the wood. Not as much as a wood smoker like out the old school wood smoker. But it's very, very close, y'all. If you do it correctly, it's very close. And I'm going to show y'all again another method I'm going to do today. I'm doing some smoked turkey wings on there. I'm going to do these bad boys about eight hours, about six to eight hours. I'm going to give me about three and a half, maybe four hours smoke on them. Then I'm going to baste them down a little with a little barbecue sauce that I'm going to kind of uh, loosen up with some pineapple juice. Baste it on there really, really good. Wrap them in foil and let them go another two and a half hours and they're gonna be pretty much falling off the bone, tender, very flavorful. I've did it on the pit before. I never did an electric smoker. Should be easier in the electric smoke. I've did it on the barbecue pit many, many, many times. Now I got everything I had to butcher, just cut them in three pieces. You know, I got the flats, the drum, and the tips. I'm using all of them. Of course, the tips have a lot of meat on them compared to a, a regular chicken. But you know, turkey wings take a long time to cook. That's why I say it's going to take six to eight hours. On two, I'm going to do it low and slow, 250 degrees. That's how I'm going to get that pit. That's what I got it already set on outside. I got it heating up. It's been on about an hour, so it's good and hot. So all we're going to do, I'm going to meet y'all outside. And we're going to load this bad boy up. And it'll be time to low and slow all day long, y'all. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here, right here in the master built here. And I didn't explain to y'all, as I'm doing this, this thing should be good and hot. See the smoke, residual smoke coming out of it. I only have the wood chips in there yet, y'all. The smoke already coming out of there. So y'all see I got it good and seasoned. I tell you, I've had this thing about six, seven years. So I got mine seasoned. I'm going to do it in the first two racks, middle two racks here, y'all. I'm going to do the skin side up. Just like this. And I got it seasoned with the uh, Uncle Steve shape, the uh, poultry, what do you call it? The bird shape. That's what I got it seasoned with. So I'm trying to just use two racks today, y'all. Two racks. Right there. This one here. And yeah, y'all, all I got to do is add my wood chips in there. I got it already programmed on 12 hours, which I'm going to do eight, but I always do a little bit over. You know, you can go up to 20, I think it's 24 hours on this thing. You can program it to 24 hours if you want to. So what I do, got my little uh, wood thing here in the, in the side here. I've had it so long, y'all, that the thing that's broken off of it, that's supposed to hold it, that's how long I've had it. What I do, I put some little, as I drop half of them on the floor, like I told y'all, the first couple of hours, I'm going to put dry chips in there to really get a good, good, good smoke on them. And then the last hour of smoking, I'm going to use some soaked in water. Or you can soak it in pineapple juice. You can soak the chips in apple juice, and it'll give it even more flavor. 
Well, I just do water. Put it in here. Flip it over. And let it do its thing, y'all. And I'll set the hose about halfway here on the top and let a little smoke come out. Not a lot. I do it so the neighbors can smell it. Yeah, I'm that guy. So anyway, y'all, they get some anyway, so ain't no big deal. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back here later on, kind of check on them. I'm going to let them go here. I'm going to do the chips probably every 45 minutes to an hour. I'll put more chips in there. And uh, we'll come back probably after two hours and they got a nice color on them. And I'll show you how they're progressing. But it's very simple. Get you one of these Masterville smokers. I have no idea how much it costs now. I think I got this for like less than $200. So you might get them about that time now. Summertime, you can really get them because they got an oversupply of them. And Home Depot Lowe's. I don't know if you can buy them online. And this one's already put together and everything. So, yeah. So, anyway, y'all, we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. We're like one hour. Let's see. Let's see here. Three hours in. Now, what I'm going to do now, y'all, I'm three hours into the process here. Let's see how dark they got. See that? Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to baste them with this sauce here. Like I said, all I got here is some, uh, just some sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. And I thinned it down with some pineapple juice. See that? And I'm going to base this. Get them out of here. They should really good on here. And we're going to let them cook uncovered for another hour. Turn them over here, y'all. Turn them on the other side here. Make sure they based on both sides. Then we're going to come after an hour. And uh, I'm going to put them on fall. And I'm going to let them cook about, about two more hours. Let's get a little based on them. See that? So based on them. The next row here. How easy is this, y'all? How easy is this? I'm telling you, get you a black stone. Not black, I keep saying black stone. Get you a master built smoker, electric smoker. Like I say, and you can use you can have these for the apartment complex because they don't use any open flame. It's just electric. Okay, y'all. A little bit more here. That's it. Now, close that up. We're going to let this go another hour. What I'm going to do, put some more chips in here, y'all. Hold on just a second. Some more wood chips in here. We're going to go another hour like this. And after an hour, I'm going to come back. We're going to get some foil. Wrap it in foil. And let it go about two more hours until it's nice and tender. And then that, flip it over. And we good to go. So anyway, we'll be back in an hour. All right, y'all. We are back here. Let's check these bad boys out. Look at that. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my spatula. I mean, my tongs here. See that, y'all? Look at that. Now, what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to move y'all over here to my, to my table here. Y'all look right there. And what I'm going to do, we're going to fall these bad boys down. And wrap them up and put them back in there for about two more hours. Hold on, y'all, just a second. Gotta come inside here and let me get some spray here. 
All right. Now what I like to do, I like to spray my foil so they don't stick to my foil. So let me get my, I take the whole rack out like this. We'll just put them right here on the foil here. Put them in there, as, you know. Your little chips, they ain't going to take long. You know, they ain't going to take long at all. Okay. Get back in there. And we're going to take our little barbecue sauce here. Baste it one more time. Y'all see you got flies everywhere. Ain't nothing I can do. I'm in they element now. I'm in they element now, y'all. I guess I should have had it right when I put it in here. I'm in the element now. What happened when you're barbecuing outside? I can't too much complain about the flies now. The flies going to say, no, nah, you and my... That's a little brush from the... Little thing from my brush. Okay. Now, I'll wrap these up. Just like this. I'm going to put it right back on the pit. And I'm going to get the other one here. Other piece of foil. Yeah, it's about, when I started this, y'all, it was about 74 degrees. I think it's like, it's about Texas here. It's about 80-something degrees now. It's supposed to be 95, I think, today. But that's part of the summertime. I love it though. All right. Put these down here. Ooh, that almost went away on me. It almost went away on me, y'all. All righty. Got it in there. Okay. Get my little barbecue sauce here. Face this side. We're going to turn it over, base the other side, now you can do this inside y'all, but hey, for the Bobby Ken, you outside, in the element, right, flip that over, put the rest of the sauce on this side, and we're going to let these things go. I'm gonna say about two more hours. Okay, we're gonna wrap these bad boys up just like this. Put them back in the body, put them back in the smoker. Move y'all back over here. Move y'all back over. Move y'all back over here. All righty. There we go. Now I'm going to put some more wood in here, which it really doesn't matter with the wood now because I'm going to completely close this up and let it do its thing, y'all. Because it's not going to really get no more smoke in it because uh, they're sealed. Now look, you can put... I didn't show y'all the last one I did. I put it, uh, the wood that was soaked in the uh, water. The last, uh, the last hour, I did four, uh, intervals. This is the fourth, this is the fifth one now. I put chips in there four times. And I think I showed y'all three of them. Or did I show you two of them? But anyway, the last two, last one, I had the uh, chips uh, soaked in water. Where it got a lot of extra smoke on it. Okay. Put that over. Pretty close that off and damper on the top close. And when we come back, they will be completely ready. We'll have some old school, low and slow smoke turkey wings made outside on the pit. You know they're going to be good. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back out here. All right, y'all. The turkey. Is ready to come off turkey wings. 
Look at that smoke still smoking there, ready to come out. Now, how would I know? Hold on just a second, y'all. Just a second. Just a second, y'all. Get it together, Chef Jeffrey. Get it together, Chef Jeffrey. Okay. How would I know when they're ready? What I do, y'all, with turkey wings, I'll take a toothpick like this, and I'll find the, like, the leg meat, and I'll stick the toothpick in there and see if it's tender. These been on for seven hours, y'all. And that's you, if they've been on for seven hours, that's pretty much a telltale right there that they ready. What I do, I'll just slide them right here on my, on my pan here. We'll get the other ones and slide right here on my pan. There we go. Put them up here. Now I'm going to meet y'all in the house here. We're going to go in the house here. I'll meet y'all in the house. And we're going to open this up and show you how gorgeous they are. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We're back in the house here. Now, y'all up a little closer here. Y'all a close shot here. They're opening these up. Okay. Got them on pan here. All I'm going to do, y'all, we're going to open these bad boys up. Man, these smells absolutely amazing, y'all. Absolutely amazing. Pretty much just falling off the bone. But what I'm going to do first, what I like to do, that extra barbecue sauce, that I have left over. What I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm just go in here while it's warm. I'm gonna just baste them up. A little sauce I got left over. Because you know it's better when it's warm when you baste it. Absolutely amazing. It smells absolutely amazing, y'all. And I know it tastes amazing. And y'all know, y'all already know, been following me enough. I'm not a turkey fan at all, but turkey necks, turkey legs, hey, turkey butts, I'm a big fan of that. So, anyway, y'all, I'm going to step off here. I got me something here on the side to go with it. Let me show y'all here. Take this off of here. I got me some baked beans there. Had in the oven for the last two hours while those were smoking. Look at that. Turkey wings with some baked beans. Hey, that's good for Sunday, right? That's a good Sunday. <laughs> do these on a Saturday night. Sunday, all you got to do is come and warm up. So I'm going to step off, y'all. Do my world-famous YouTube thumbnail. We're going to come back. and got to prove to y'all how good these are. Old school, slow and smoke. Slow and slow smoked turkey wings. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Look at this here. I got my plate here. Made me a little sample plate. Got my flat there. Then you got the whole plate of turkey uh, turkey wings right there. I'm telling y'all, seven hours. I, I added it up. Seven hours on the smoker today. Can't go wrong with that. Low and slow. Okay, y'all. Let me show y'all how this thing just falls off the bone. Look at that. Look at that. See how tender that is, y'all. They're tending that turkey. Get that bone out of the way. Get off of there. See that bone there? Get that out of my way. You can see how this one just going to slide right off there. See that? How it just slides off of there. That nice meat. Look at that. Almost fell on the floor, y'all. Hold on. See that nice smoky smoky look on that bone we're gonna just get all we're gonna just get this meat off the bone y'all excuse my fingers excuse my fingers we family ain't we we family ain't we let's get this bone out the way see that bone that clean bone okay now we're gonna get big into this dig into this y'all oh just a second just a second here we're gonna dig into this plate y'all Give me a little barbecue sauce on here. And even though it don't even need no barbecue sauce, I'm a barbecue sauce person. Here we go. All right, y'all. Let me 
Let me dig into this piece here. Mm. Mm. Bob, get back. Man, it's so good. Look at mm. Mm. Like I told y'all, I'm not a turkey fan, but look. And cook turkey like this, nice and juicy. Mm, mm, mm. I like that turkey skin. I oh, wasn't looking for I'm for the skin, y'all. Let's check them out. Leave my finger, y'all. That's my favorite part, the skin. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, smoky. Mm-hmm. Good eating, huh? Some baked beans. Got some baked beans there. Or some turkey. Smoked turkey wing. That's what it's at. Let me show y'all the, the drum. There'll be some doubters out there. Oh, the drum is not falling off. Look at that. Look at that. See that? To the bone. To the bone, y'all. All that was cooked to the bone. Smoked to the bone. That's good eating. Like I said, I usually do it on my pit. On my barbecue pit. First time I ever did an electric smoker. And the flavor is just amazing the same. Amazing. Anyway, nice and flavorful. But anyway, y'all, like I say, if you got an apartment that don't allow, mm, mm, mm. y'all excuse me him. You to have barbecue pit with the charcoal and fire, just kind of invest in an electric smoker. And um, it's just electric, no open flame. A lot of apartment complex. I know here in the Katy area, in the Houston area, they allow it. So, yeah, you can uh, definitely um, make that. I'm going to be doing, like I told y'all, a lot of videos in the next three months, outdoor cooking. On my electric smoker, my regular smoker, my flat top grill, me and my Blackstone grill. I'm going to be doing burgers out there, breakfasts out there, everything. It's all about the summertime, y'all. All about the summer. Oh, yeah. One bite of turkey. <laughs> this stuff is so good. Because like I told you, I don't eat turkey. This turkey is not dry. Very flavorful. And perfect. So, anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023? Just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed Sunday. Love y'all. Bye.